It's been a long time since I last smoked a cigarette. Twenty-three years to be exact. Give or take a day or two, or maybe a week. But um, I don't think any of us could ever forget that day. Any luck finding it? Oh, gosh. Uh, Ursula, oh. Oh, sorry, I just popped in. I mean, sorry, uh, Joan just popped in with a, a special delivery. I see. Hello, Joan. All right, Doc. Uh, nice to see you. You too, Joan. Oh, that's a lovely coat. Oh, thanks, Doc. Yeah, Colin got it for his wedding anniversary. Can you believe it? Twenty years. Oh, you two are a right pair of lovebirds. So, Colin, any news? I've got one more candidate to see. Um, Mavis Sauce. Oh, well. Good luck with that one. Bye, Joan. Bye, Doc. Right, Doc. I suppose I'd better be off. I'll see you back at the house. Lots of love. Bye. Bye, love. I'll see you soon. Well, I can see you have excellent references, and your thesis on Byzantine balloon animals was of exceptional quality. Welcome aboard, Miss Sauce. Oh, thank you so much. I'm very excited. No sooner had I finished the interview with Mavis, when a colleague of mine at the Museum of Balloon Animals telephoned to say if I would like to go up to a stately home just outside Norvolk. Apparently, some new specimens had been discovered. We could go there, all expenses paid, me, Mavis, Ursula and Joan. All I had to do was take the car a hundred miles. Easy, I thought. I just wish I'd checked the tyres before I left. Mavis? Oh, I'm ever so cold. Really cold. We need to get you inside, Mavis. Come on. Ugh. This gate's locked. Come on, look, there's a path down here. We will have a look. There's a gate. Come on. We'll go through here and it might lead us to somewhere warm. Oh, anything to get out of this bloody rain. How you doing, Mavis? Oh, I'm ever so cold. I can see that. How are you doing, Joan? I'm alright. Mavis, are you okay? We need to get warm. Come on, let's go down here. It's ever so slippery. Watch the tree root. Bloody hell, it's dark down here, isn't it? It is. Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, it's nothing, Mavis. It's just your imagination playing tricks on you. Come on, let's go. Ooh. Oh, 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 I 
think I was it. Oh, no, that is silly. No, Hey, this. Hi, Bush. Hi, Bush. Where the bloody hell she gone? She must have found somewhere. John, did you see anything? I've not seen anything, Doc. Mavis! Where the... Oh, look, there's a door. Let's knock on here and see if she's gone in, maybe. What are we going to do? I can't believe she just vanished. I oh know. This ever so strange. Did you see anything? Nothing. Nothing at all. I know. I don't know what we're going to do. Joan, did you hear anything at all? I didn't hear nothing. She, she was right behind me and I, I turned around and... What are we going to do? I don't know, Duck. I just don't know. I, I don't know where she's gone. Nothing. There was just nothing, wasn't there? we got to get to a telephone. we got to get up and find out what the bloody hell's fucking going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um... We just need a telephone, please. Uh, uh, maybe the police or... Just, don't, just a telephone. We, our car's broken down. That's, we've got a flat tyre, so we just need to get the... That's right, look, we just need a telephone so we can phone the AA or the RAC. Uh, just so we can come and fix our flat tyre. Oh, I don't really give a fuck who it is, to be honest. Mind you, not the AA. I had those before now, right, bunch of bastards? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we just need a telephone, please. Uh, mm -hmm. Greetings, welcome to my shadow. Hey, bloody hell, it looks like Drac. Yeah, my name is Derek Ula. I have lived in the chateau for many years. It is my family's chateau. Oh, it's quite nice, but um, you've got some squeaky doors, so you might need some WD-40. Uh, do you have a telephone? Yes, I have a telephone upstairs. My butler Herman will show you the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be lovely, and it, I could do with the loo. Oh yeah, I could do with a piss. A little bit of a Jimmy Riddle. You are welcome to use the facilities. Herman will show you the way. Mm -hmm. I suppose we go up there then. Oh, I don't know. Well, that's where Herman's going, so... Uh... I really could do with going to the bog. I think I need a number two. I'm not surprised, love. I did say you shouldn't have beef dumplings before we came out. Oh, Joan, I don't suppose I can go in front, could I? I'm absolutely busting. Plus, I did have that half bottle of wine in the back of the car. Oh, of course you can. Mm. Oh, I don't like these stairs. They're a bit bloody dark. Jeez, go up to the room and use the facilities in Le Chateau de Jambonois. Climb the stairs. You will not feel a thing. Oh, what's that? Oh, my tops come off. Ugh. Oh, brother, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, what the fuck is going on? We're trying to use a telephone, you bastard. <sighs> I am Derek Ooler, and I need your blood. 
hand. You ain't getting any of my blood, you shitbag. That's all right, Colin. We're fucking done him. All right, fucking get on with it. Bloody hell, Ursula. That was horrible. I oh, know. Uh, how are we going to get through this? We'll be alright, Dr. Helvetica. We'll be alright.